Okay, so that's JSP introduction. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to bring in that beautiful website that I gave you. So I want you to right-click on the screen. I want you to import. Go down to import. I want you to go to um, existing project workspace, and I want you to go to browse, and I want you to find that uh, basic template, for example. Open that. Make sure that's selected there so it, it knows to go finish and finish the project, and that's going to import that in. We're actually going to take a look at that template real quick. I want you to go down to web content and click on index JSP. Now we have to switch everything over. Remember our little trick here? So let's go ahead and right click on our server and go to add remove. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to remove that. So now another thing you're doing here at Porter 2 is you're working with the server as well. So you're going to be working with the server regardless. Bearing in the basic templating, go add that. So I have this on this side. I'll hit finish. And now I'm just going to try to run that page. And it's going to restart it for me automatically. So I'll run that page. I know here. Click on my local host, hit Tomcat server, hit finish. All right, so restart the server for me, thank you very much. And I'm actually on my new application. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we'll come back and talk about the application next. And I'm going to come back and debug and see what you did wrong, okay? Okay, so we have this beautiful web page right here, and I mean, it looks lovely, it really does. And um, this is actually uh, the guy who put this together. Um, you can come up here to his blog, and if you click on this, he's go to his Facebook. Here he is right here, and um, uh, Juan uh, uh, Antonio Garcia Libijo. And he got this from, actually, from Zen. So we're going to go actually take a look at Zen, so we're going to go back. And he, he gives the credit to Zen, of course. If, so if you come along here and you hit, based on Zen Garden, and you're going to click on that, you can see there's the Zen Garden right there. And that's just a beautiful page. I mean, I think Zen Garden's fantastic, and so you can get some great templates from there and some great ideas. And it probably is the most beautiful C uh, CSC you'll see anywhere. CSS, excuse me, you'll see anywhere. And I'm going back to his example, and what we want to do is actually take a look at the code now. The code is extremely simple, okay? And it's really just very just basic HTML program, believe it or not. If you recall from PHP, we had all these include pages. Do you remember that? With the word include, well, we're using basically uh, JSP include. And so we have these template pages that we're including inside. And here's the style page right here. So if I go here to the templates folder, and let me open up the style folder. There's a templates folder. There's my styles right there. And you can see there's my styles. Comes this, here's a style sheet right here that's being brought in, the style CSS. And that's in the style folder. And there's my CSS right there. And so I can navigate. What I'm doing now is just kind of navigating through and showing you everything. But all this is is basically a three-part uh, uh, template, a, basically a header, a footer, and styling. You see that? And so if I go back down to the index page right here, I'm, I'm bringing in my styles, which I need to do. I'm going to include my header right here. You see that? Just a JSP include. Here's, here's my body right here, and somewhere at the bottom I should have my footer. Let's go down here, and there's my footer right there. Welcome to P JSP. And that's all there was to it. And, that, and that, that's really small to have such a beautiful page, don't you think so? So it's very impressive that you can get so much from so little. And, and Java is extremely powerful. And there are a lot of people out there that are creating and running um, JSP pages. I mean, there, there really are. But we're not going to use it like that. Like I said, this is just a stepping stone to more advanced technology, and that will be the Spring Hibernate. And we're going to connect to your map to your database using Hibernate and transfer from it on the BIP level 10 times faster than the HTTP service it will do for you.